hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to turn your dashboard from this to this okay so um this is the normal dashboard that you have you know you have a welcome screen over here okay now i'm going to what show you how you can turn this thing over here and then customize it to have something like this okay so if you are ready then stick with me and let's go hello guys my name is Kobe and this is Kitech digital now in this um, channel what we do is we create WordPress and website tutorials okay so um, if that is why you are here then please don't forget to like and then subscribe to this channel so that anytime I drop a video you'll be able to what you'll be able to watch okay so like I told you earlier what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our dashboard from this to what to this so without wasting my time let's jump over it so this is what a new um, you know um, WordPress installation that I've done and as you can see we have what this welcome screen over here and I'm going to what, change this welcome screen and then make it something what like this okay so for those of you who don't believe it now let me just refresh this one so that you know that um, it is not something which is what which is fake okay so it is something that I created using um, a free tool, a free plugin that what that I I used. So um, this is it. Now let me refresh this one also so that you see what I'm talking about. So this is what a new WordPress installation. I want to what, change this one from this place to what to this place. So as you can see, this is the main domain and this is what a subdomain. Okay, I just want to show you so that you know that it is not the same what web, uh, website. So this is what two different websites. So this is the main domain and this is a subdomain okay so now how do we do it now we, we will go to plugins over here okay and then we we'll go to what um install two different plugins okay so what we're going to do is um, i'm going to go to add new over here and then i'm going to install two plugins now one is a page builder so i'm going to install elementor we're going to install elementor first so let's install it click install now and then when it's done you click what activate to activate it okay so elementor is going to take me through onboarding processes i'm just going to what um skip all these things and then just close it okay i don't want to what, um, go through all these things okay very good so this is what this elementor over here now the second plugin that i'm going to install i'm going to go to plugins install now and then i'm going to install um dashboard welcome okay just type in dashboard welcome dashboard board yeah okay so you find this one over here okay this plugin over here which says what dashboard welcome for elementor okay so um what we're going to do is we're just going to click on what install now and then click on activate okay very good so now we have what we have elementor installed we have dashboard um welcome for elementor also what installed now the next one that we are going to do is um to go and then what choose a template now what this dashboard does is that um, it gives you what access for you to be able to what, choose a template to use for your what for your welcome screen okay so if you click on um, let's go to um, settings over here and then you're gonna see the dashboard um, welcome elemental over there so click over there and then you see that you can set what you can set that you can design a template and then use it for the administrator the editor the you know the author the the um, contributor the subscriber the customer the shop manager okay so all these things you can do now you use elementor to create okay so for those of you who don't know elementor it is just a page builder or you can use it to um, create any page or anything that you want okay as a web designer so what we are going to do is we're going to go head over straight to elementor over here okay now we're not going to use this one but we're going to use the template under elementor this one over here and then we're going to go to a saved template over here now of course we don't have any saved template over here okay so as you can see there is no saved template over here if you go over here also you're not going to see any what 
template over there okay if we go to even um you know sessions there is no template over there so we have to what create what a new template okay so what we are going to do is what we're going to click on what um you know add new over here and then um, i'm going to create a page okay so it, i can either choose a landing page or whatever it is anyhow you want to but i'm not creating a session because it, it's going to be um, different different sessions so i'm going to click on landing page over here and then i'll name it to a dashboard and then i'll click on create okay so now that i'm over here now what i'm going to do is i have to what you know if you look at this one over here um we have a session over here and all those things okay now i am not going to because this video i want it to be as short as possible i am not going to what i am not going to go through all the process and other stuff but if you are new over here and you don't know how to use elementor to uh, to create anything um it is just simple elementor is just a drag and drop thing okay now of course it use what sessions and columns and other stuff to be able to what um use elementor so for instance if i want to what create something what i need to do is what add a session okay so if i want a two column one column session two column session three column session whatever session that i want okay anyhow it is i just will select the structure that i want okay so let's say i want a two column what session over here so i choose it and then um if i click over here i can edit the session so you see that this um edit panel opens over here okay now when it opens over here you can use this place to what edit this session over here so for instance if i want to what make it a full width i can change it from box to what to full width okay now it means that it's going to a stretch throughout what, the page okay now if i want to still keep it the box i can what still keep it the box now, if i want to change the height of what of this session i can do so by what clicking over here and then saying what minimum height and then i am going to set the minimum height for it so i can change it um you know to any height that i want okay and that is it now of course if i want to give a color background for this what session over here i can go to style over here and then give it what a color what background so let's say um this is the background of it i choose a background type so i want a different different background type we have the slideshow we have the video we have gradient and then we have what um classic so let's say i want to what a gradient one i can choose uh, two colors for it so i want this one and this one so you see we have two colors for it so i have what a gradient background over here and then i can click over here to uh, to add in any widget or any you know element that i want from what from this place okay so if i want uh, maybe a heading i can drag in this heading over here and then it's going to what it's going to work i can go to style and then you know change the color and then make it what white okay so i can also what go to content over here and then add in what anything that i want to add so let's say this is what kitech digital okay so i can just you know write in anything that i want so let's say about kitech digital now if i want to change the size of it i can go to style over here and then still what do um, change the style the size of it okay so when i click on this pen over here in front of the typography it's going to what give me all these things and then i can what um, you know choose any size that i want so maybe 35 it what it work for me if i want to change the weight i can still what change it for me so basically you can do a whole lot of things if i want to add a different you know thing over here i can click over here and then you know drag in a video um, widget over here okay and then it's going to what, pull in what a video over here for me then all what i need to do is i can either choose the source that i want so if i want the source to be a youtube video i can just you know paste the link of that youtube video over here or if i want it to be maybe um, a vimeo you know link i can what choose that link over here if it is a daily motion i can do that also and then if it is what a self-hosted self-hosted means that um i have the video on my what on my webs um on my website or my hosting and then i am what i am just you know pulling it over here so i'll just click over here to choose what the video from my library over here okay so basically this is how you can be able to what, um you know use elementor to do anything that you want to do now it is all about design so you d know what you want and then you use it to what to design i'm not going to waste my time over here because i don't want to design from scratch i have already designed my what my template already all what i need to do is i'm i want to what i want to import that template over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what click over here 
and then say add what template okay so i'll go to my template over here and then as you can see i do not have any template over here okay so now what do i need to do i can click over here which says what import template now if you see over here i can click on it and then i can what select the file that i want to import okay so as you can see there is a json file over here which says what dashboard and that is the template that i want to what import so i'll click on it to open it and then it will tell me that um i should enable unfiltered what file uploads okay so yes i want to enable and then what import and that is it so now that i am what importing the template it will come as what as this particular what um thing that you see over here i'll save it and then we will use it to what we use it to um you know um we use it to um you know design our what our website okay so where is the template right now okay let me go back over here and then come back over here again i still don't see my template over here okay let me try again to what import the template again i don't want to design it that is why i want to what, use this word template okay guys let me just publish this one right and then you know just refresh it and see um, if the template is what is imported if it doesn't import we will go and then import it in a different site okay i just want to see if um you know the template i still didn't import so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna go to let's let me go back over here and then um you know exit this one to the dashboard okay i'm gonna exit to dashboard over here i don't know why it did not um import but i am going to template over here and then click on saved template and then click on what import template over here and then choose a file dashboard and then i'll click on open over here and i'll click on import and then let's see if it is what it will import for me okay guys so as you can see it has what it has imported successfully for me okay so i can see it over here okay so now i have my template what imported for me over here so i am i shouldn't have what um, you know try to add a new template and then use it to import i should have just click on this place to, uh, to import um successfully okay so that is it so now that i have my dashboard Im imported i can what okay guys so we're gonna view it in a new tab and see how it looks like okay so we want to what, see how it looks like okay so it is not showing clearly because of the theme that we are what that we are using okay so as you can see over here now if i go to appearance over here if i click on appearance and then i go to themes we're using what a different theme over here so we're using the cadence theme over here so what i'm going to do is um, i'm just going to what um you know install the cadence theme on this what particular what website so that it will what uh, it will appear well okay so i'm um, it doesn't really matter the kind of theme that you use because even if i use what um, ocean wp is supposed to still what work for me but then because of um what i'm doing i just want to what make sure that everything works perfectly so i'm going to what install the cadence theme so um, i'll go over here and then install the cadence theme on this um you know particular website because this is a new you know website um there is nothing on it so basically that is it so let me just refresh it and i see how it looks um over here so as you can see um it is what now taking what taking in shape so as you can see over here everything is what is taking in shape so now that you know i i see how it looks like over here now of course i can go ahead and then what um you know try and then even edit what the the theme and um, the template okay so i can do some few changes to the what the template make sure that everything works well before i what i import it so as you can see this color have what have changed but i want to what make sure that i have the perfect what perfect colors and everything before i i import it so i i use it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click over here and then over here um the page layout i want to change it to what elemental canvas over here okay now if i change it to elemental canvas 
everything what will change again yes so as you can see um, now you know everything is what is changing let me update it now okay now that i have updated it now all what i need to do is what, just you know change some few things over here okay so i'm going to click on this one and then go to the style over here and then you know change this one from blue to what to black the same applies to what, this one go over here and then change this one from blue to what to um you know black over here okay now of course you cannot see all these things because of what um the team have changed everything so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what um you know just make sure that everything works perfectly before i can what i will use them okay so um now i think everything is what working perfectly i just need to change the color of what of the text over here okay so i'm going to go to the content over here and then you know just change the color to what to black and then i'll just um, right click over here copy you know just paste right click and then what we'll paste out right click and then i'll paste out right click and then i'll paste out so i'm going to paste out on all of them okay very good so now that everything is done um i think everything everything is what is now has now taken in shape i'm going to click on update over here to update it so now i can what i can you know go ahead and then view the page and see how it looks like over here so this is how the page really or the template really looks like okay so now we want to use this template okay as what um you know as just like this main website over here so let's go to the home and then you're going to see how it looks like we want to use the template make sure that the template you know covers this um welcome screen over here so when you go to the website that we are dealing with and you go you're going to see oh let me go to the dashboard you're going to see that we're going to have this welcome thing over here okay so i'm going to what um close this one and then say no to it and then we're going to have this particular thing over here now that is not what we want okay we want it to behave or to be just like this one so how do we do it now what we have to do is what um hover go to settings over here go down over here and then go click on welcome um, dashboard welcome elementor click on it and then we're going to what set the template that we what we designed or we we did for what, what we pointed for um administrator now of course whoever you want to set a different template for you can do so so i'm going to set the dashboard for what for the administrator okay now if you want it to be what um you know dismissible you can what check this one now what does it mean by dismissible now if you go to um the dashboard of this website okay now you can see that this welcome screen is what dismissible it means that somebody can click over here to dismiss it okay but if you go over here you see that there is no dismiss sign or it means that we don't want it to be what dismissible okay and that is it so we don't want it to be dismissible so we're going to leave it just like that okay and then what we will do is we will click on what save changes okay so now that we have it done now let's go back to what our um you know dashboard over here click on it and then let's see if it appears now, as you can see it is working perfectly over here okay and that is what and that is it so um basically this is going to be just like what a home screen for your new um client okay so you can put anything over here anything that you want to buy so um this will give them their overview you can make a video of their what the dashboard for them if they are not familiar when they come over here and then they click it they can view how to um you know go about with their what the dashboard okay now also you can put your information over here or anything that you want to put over here i just decided to do it this way and then some useful links for them so if they want to create a page it is just easy they just click on it and other stuff and then if they need also what they need help they can what go ahead and then what contact what contact you okay so basically this is how you can be able to what, customize your what your admin dashboard the welcome screen make it what very nice for what for your customers or your clients okay thank you for watching this video i know this video helped you a lot so please leave a like and then also subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed okay thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye